Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are continuing our Jiangjiang campaign. And uh, just taking a look at these mountains. God, I'm loving doing these intros like this. Now that I know that you can actually turn the HUD off. You could do this in Warhammer as well. I just it never noticed. I never noticed. But anyway, uh, just seriously though, the mixture of like the ink, uh, the ink drawing stuff. I mean, look at this. It's gorgeous, isn't it? You know, the fog of war is just amazing in this game. I love it. Anyway. Sorry guys, I'm going to keep appreciating the beauty of this game. It really is a work of art. It is gorgeous. And I love that it was actually inspired by an art style, which I think is really interesting. You know, the whole ink, Chinese ink wash thing. Um, it's really cool. It's really cool indeed. Just looks gorgeous. I really love it. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's just, ah, so good. Right, so yeah, we're, we're fighting uh, Lia Bu now. Yeah, we're trying to take his territories. Hopefully Yuran Shao won't take a load of it. Ugh, bloody Yuran Shao. He's so annoying. He's really frustrating me. I really want him dead. Um, I might have to double cross him at some point, but with the coalition so strong, it's going to be difficult to sort of get everyone on board with it. Um, it's going to be very tough. I'm not really sure how I'm going to wrangle that. Um, yeah, and Gong Sun Zan is actually doing fairly well too. He's got a good foothold in the corner. Because ideally, I want to. It's a tough thing, because I want to sort of unify the north, right? So just like this big chunk. Right, get the get the silk, uh, not the silk trade, the spice trade stuff over here. I think it's spice trade, isn't it? No, it is all silk trade stuff. So yeah, get all the silk traders, you know, just get a load of stuff here and solidify all of this. So I have the river to defend me from the rest of the world. But uh, that's tough because I'm kind of pals with everyone um, that I need to take from. That's the annoying thing. You kind of want to solidify the area you start in, but... Those are going to be your closest allies, because, you know, you need some alliances early. So your longest-running allies tend to be the ones you need to stab in the back. But I guess that's the nature of it, you know? That's the nature of this period. It's, um, it's pretty grim. So one thing I want to do, I want to make a point of doing this at the start of every episode, because uh, it's been bothering me a lot a lot. It's been bothering some of you. I've had some comments about it, and I'm sure other people are thinking it. But I keep forgetting to actually keep these guys happy. You know, I've not been doing anything to keep these guys happy because I keep forgetting that it's an issue because uh, that's the thing. I'm recording, you know, every day uh, for this. So there's a lot of time between episodes. It's not like I've just sat down and played an entire campaign and then regurgitated it to you guys. No, I'm able to respond to comments and stuff, right? So, um, you know, I don't do this all in one big go. So what tends to happen is time passes and I forget there are certain things that need doing by the next day. So I'm making I'm making a point of looking into who's happy and unhappy. So this guy really wants a higher court position. And he's a general of mine, so I can't afford to have him unhappy. So what I'm going to do, see if there's anything I can give him that'll cheer him up. Oh, okay, I could give him some better armor. Huh. Lowers his speed, though. And his melee attack rate. Huh. Puts up his expertise a lot, though. Does he need expertise? Probably not. Yeah, I'll leave that. Right. Oh, do you have some nice horses, though? do have some nice horses. But again, that's not going to cheer him up. How about this guy? Um, speed for his retinue. Yeah, none of these guys are cheering people up. Okay, so this, six satisfaction. I could put up to eight, but that's not a lot. That is not much. Uh, I'll need the corruption thing later on, by the way. Uh, corruption really starts hitting you when your population starts getting high in some of your settlements. So let's do that, so we'll be a little bit happier. It's not much, but could also... Yeah, I could also put his salary up. That should cheer him up. So yeah, he's a court officer now. Big salary, though. Big salary right now. He also has a grudge against Liu Biao. All right. No worries. Okay. Cool. Maybe he can go fight him one day. So that's cheered him up. That's cheered him up quite a bit. Um, sadly, court positions, as you can see, I don't have a lot of them. No, I don't. Because I'm still only an outlaw. So yeah, I need to keep getting this up so I can get more court positions and things. I can I can keep more of my generals happy. Because that's a, that's a weird thing to balance. What I kind of like is this game, it doesn't seem to do what Warhammer does, where if you have more characters, you know, if you have more armies, it puts up upkeep for all of them, right? That's not how it controls sort of um, the amount of, like, armies you can field. No, it's you've got to keep your commanders happy. And later on, they're going to be livid at you if you're not giving them good positions. And there's only so many positions you can give them. So I think that's a really good way to limit the amount of armies you have. Because it keeps the focus on the characters. If you just have like a billion generals and, you know, you're never going to remember who they all are. You're not going to care about them so much. But this way it keeps you with like a limited amount of characters. And you you care about them. They matter, you know, which I think is amazing. I think that's a really nice touch. So it looks like I can upgrade this for more commerce. Might as well, I guess. 
might as well. Um, other than that, yeah, I think we're good. So uh, I've got an army over here lying in wait. I am at war with uh, Liu Bei, which is a bit of a problem, but I think I want him to come to me. What I might do, actually, is not hang out in the copper mine, but uh, hang out in here. So if they try and cross the water, I can ambush them. So I'm going to loiter here for now, and it'll make the copper mine a little bit more, you know, suitable. Oh, actually, the crossing's there. I should go there. Okay, I guess I'll do the next turn, because he's done another movement for it. But still, it tempts people out, and I think that's what I want to do. It'll still take a couple turns to get, you know, get over the river, so I can, I can move again later. But I want to force them into fights that aren't favourable by making it look like there's no fight to be had. That's always a good tactic to use, um, especially on the defensive. It should be really good for me. So, yeah, Gong Rong and Yuan Chao, still loitering. Uh, Gong Sun Zan is taking a lot of Yuan Chao's territory. And that's kind of a problem. It's kind of a problem. Let's actually go up here. Um, ownership. So, yeah, Gong Sun Zan has a big, big chunk here. Yuan Chao just has the odd little spot, but it's still enough for him to start attacking places that I'm at war with, which is super annoying. Uh, Liu Bei, I can't see much of his territory, but I'm assuming he's got quite a bit in here. Cao Cao is doing quite well. Tao Tao seems to be doing okay down here. And, uh, yeah, Swen, uh, who is it? Swen Te. Now, that's right. It's not Swen Jan. Anyway, he's got all this stuff. He's got quite a bit. Looks like Tao Tao is making some ground, though, which is good. I want Tao Tao to get a little bit more powerful. Um, if it's at the expense of the other big warlord. So, uh, it'll give me time to deal with all this stuff, which should be good. Right. So, that's enough of a catch-up, I believe. That's enough of my thought process. Um, that's going to be next turn, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm waiting for a replenishment here a bit before she follows up and gets the salt mine. Uh, I could start moving now, actually. I could start moving now. I'm not sure there are any armies posted along here, but if there are, I'm better off having two armies if even one of them is a little bit below uh, on replenishment. Oh, no. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, I need military supplies first. Yeah, that's it. All right, you can stay there for now. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, Liu Bei's coming. Liu Bei is also coming over there. And over here. Ooh, hoo hoo, this is, this is iffy. Uh, who's with me in the fight against Liu Bei? That's what I want to know. Oh, he's getting there, isn't he? Little sod. Oh, I hate that guy. Right, what I might do, if it's possible, I'm going to see who they're at war with, see if it overlaps with any of my wars, and see if I can give them, um, you know, military targets. They might leave alone some things. And, oh, Sven is at war with uh, Liu Bu. Liu Bu is not happy, is he? He's not happy. Oh, he's brought a war in to help fight uh, Sven. Uh, oh, no, that's uh, Gong Du. All right. Uh, Yuran Shu requested uh, Liu Biao go to war against uh, Zhang Fu. I don't think it's Fu. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's, uh, ugh. it's very annoying. Kong Rong taking a load of decent stuff down here, which is annoying too. But uh, it's all good. Hmm. So these guys are giving me a ton of money, which is nice. They're, wow, yeah, tributaries are the best thing for me right now. That is wonderful. Wonderful news. All right, so, livestock farm. Okay, what are you doing? Hello, yellow turbans. Huh. What? I can't reach? Are you kidding? God, you cannot move very well through there, can you? Alright, you there. Freaking run. You just get over here. It's going to take so many turns. There's no way. There's no way. I'm not going to get this. Oh, so annoying. Yeah, your Ran Chao is really bothering me. Let's have a look at diplomacy. Uh, let's have a look at your Ran Chao. Let's negotiate. And let's have a look. Could I vote to remove him? Everyone really likes him. Everyone really likes him. That's a pity. Uh, oh god, yeah, I forgot. Uh, Swenter. He's in a coalition, which means Tao Tao probably isn't at war with him now, is he? So he's not going to be pushing. Ah. What a pickle. Hmm. Yeah. Not sure what I can do here. Can't confederate him. It's going to need to be a bandit queen before I can do that. So I can't strong arm him into confederation. And the more territory he gets, the less likely he's going to do that later. But 
Might be able to do it. Might be able to do it at some point. As long as I can grab some more of this stuff. We'll have to see. Uh, might have to go to war with this guy again. Um, might have to go to war with him again. And Matan. I made peace with these guys just to, you know, help me push this way. But I will be going to war with them again at some point. This guy, I'm going to leave. Because that's going to cost me a ton of food to maintain a city that size. And I don't have a lot of food. No. No, I do not. No, I do not. So I need that livestock farm. Yeah. Animal tamers. I wonder what they do. I've never had an animal tamer. I wonder if they give you any food. Probably not. Because, you know, you don't tame animals for the purpose of eating them. You just hunt them, don't you? Uh, right. Could go with a lot more industry. Could put my tribute up some more. That's probably the most profitable thing. Considering, you know, how much I'm getting from tribute from people. Um, hmm. Population growth would be nice. But I'm not quite there yet. So yeah, let's go with more tribute. Uh, over here. Uh, I can only upgrade the city. So that's a million. So that's going to take a while to get to. So I can leave that for now. Save myself the food hassle. Okay. Oh, yeah. This this always happens in the mid-game. You end up with a load of allies that you hate. <laughs> you personally hate. But they've been very good to you. Sort of. So it's very annoying. So what we're going to do... Uh, so who are you at war with? Uh, and that's trade partners at war. You're at war with nobody. So actually, I want you... Wait a minute. Hang on. That's just alliance war, is it? Those are people he's at war with. Okay. Just not an alliance war. So yeah, he is at war with uh, Lia Bu. Of course. So, let's give him a war coordinate. There. Let's get him to go for Liu Bei. Uh, Liu Bei. Let's get him to do that. He might peel off, but I doubt it, considering how far away it is. Um, Should have done that way earlier. Should have done that way earlier. It's a great way to keep your allies from screwing you over by taking over your enemy's provinces. Uh, who else is nearby? Kong Rong? He's quite close. So, let's get him over here too. Uh, you go for one of these armies. He's in your territory, so you should be. And yeah, Kong Rong not doing so well in sort of his home territories. Um... It's weird. It tends to be a roll of the dice whether Kong Rong will take this plateau or if Liu, uh, Liu Bei will take a load of it. it. Tends to be a dice roll for them, pretty much. Right, so. Ooh, reform. Oh god, I had a reform I wanted to do, didn't I? I can't remember what it was now. I can't remember. Although, that would be nice. Extra 25% from industry. Um, income from peasantry would also be good. I'm getting a lot more from peasantry now my cities are growing. Extra military supplies is nice. Extra military supplies is nice. Um, replenishment is very nice. Fishing. I don't have any fish. No fish for me. Um, yeah, I can't quite remember what I was going to do. I think I want to unlock some buildings. Maybe. Um, although I might just go for replenishment. Here. It's only 2%, but that's, that's going to help. So. Moving along. Right, Liu Bei's moving in. There's Yuan Shao. Okay. There's Yuan Shao. Go wrong. He's moving up. Get away! You little sod. Okay. Tao Yin. He's on the move. Uh, again, not entirely sure how to pronounce that. So I'm not going to embarrass myself. Uh, right, Gao Gan. He's now at war with uh, uh, Jia Long. Uh, Liu Bu. Oh, against Yuan Chao, huh? Alright. Hopefully that'll slow him down. Because, yep, he's taking that bloody salt mine. Ugh. Hate you. You're the worst. Right, uh, we can take this nicely, though. And we're not at war with him, are we? We're not. I feel like maybe I'll have to be at some point. Okay, you attack it. Uh, you... Yeah, I will be getting reinforcements, so I don't need to move. That's fine. Uh, we don't really need to fight this. It's going to be so one-sided. Uh, I just think it would be a bit of a waste, so I'm going to delegate it. Cunning triumphs over brute force. Uh, we lost 800 somehow. Gain some infamy. And now we're going to occupy. This Lovely. Oh, another thing that was addressed in the comments. Um, so this, I was... 
I think it was last episode or the episode before, I was like, I'm not losing any, what's up with that? Um, yeah, it changed with the release of the game. Uh, Pre-release, even when you had it on uh, the first two, you would lose um, infamy over time. So I'd actually be way further ahead if I'd started this co campaign after the release. But uh, now, infamy only starts depleting when you hit the third rank. So it's only then you need to start worrying about it. But this is where I should have been way earlier. Uh, but I was getting minus one at the start of the campaign to my infamy every turn, which is very irritating. So, um, yeah, it's only on later levels that it starts going down. So, yeah, that's kind of annoying that I wasn't able to just get that filled up um, a lot quicker. So I did miss out a bit in the early campaign there. But, uh, yeah, so the first two turns, you don't have to worry about it dropping. So that's nice. It's very nice, in fact. Although, I guess it does give you the minus 15 diplomatic relations a lot sooner, which means that those early you know, alliances and things for Zhang Yang are way more important because you need to get them in while you're still in inferior infamy. As soon as you get to acknowledged, people are going to start wanting more from you um, if you want to win them over. So, head to the animal table, please. Marching. Yep. March, march, march. And you'll have to catch up. Okay, I need to take these two. I need to take these two. Definitely tie that first, but... Oh, we could get there in two turns. Ah, So frustrating, this guy. I really don't want him taking this stuff. And I can't really afford to get out of the city. Actually, I can again. I've got some more food now. Getting some more food. Um, see, what farms do I have? Is it just this one? Let's see. What do I need next? This is the reform I wanted, wasn't it? Where is it? That's what I was after. Which means I wanted to get that one. Okay. That's the target, guys. That's the target. I need to get as much as I can from farming as I can. Which means actually that would be good to get, just straight away. That would tide me over while I'm making my way there. Because, I mean, that's 20 turns to get to this, including this. So, yeah. We'll see. Right. Um, yeah, more tribute. Because what's my tribute income now? 6.2. Oh, God, it's so good. I love these tribute halls. They're great. They're a great building. Um, obviously, you've got to make sure you've got people paying you tribute, or else it's going to work out pretty badly for you. Uh, right, this guy, I was going to move. So, 60%, 60%, 85%, and it's on the... That's on route, I think. Should be. Yeah, I imagine it'll go through there, because I'll try and walk to the road and then along, because you do walk, walk faster on the roads. So they will make a beeline for the road in order to get to the city quicker. Um, it'd be weird if they went this way, like that way around. That'd be so much quicker than that way around. So that should be able to intercept anyone going for the copper mine. So hopefully, hopefully, this army will come out to try and take it. But the copper mine does have an all right garrison, so I don't know. I don't know if he'll bother. Uh, over here, I'll just have to hope my allies can deal with it. Um, but I hope they take massive casualties, so that way I can start requesting things from my allies. Um, so that should be fun. Right. Uh, yeah. So, still just a rush. Still just a rush to get up there. Frustrating. Very frustrating. Alright, Liu Bei. He's on the move again. Oh, wow. What are you doing there, Yuan Xiao? No, that's Liu Bei. My bad. It's because Tao Tao's nearby that I'm seeing it. Got the portraits mixed up for a second. So, yeah, this is all a bit... Oh, wow. Looks like Yuan Xiao managed to win those fights. That's good. They're still moving up. Stop it. Stop it. And they're getting a second army there. Ugh. Yin moving up. Okay. Uh, oh. I don't know. They got destroyed, did they? I think he was here. Huh. Interesting. So yeah, I have to hope that Gongdu can push Kong Rong away. I know. I know. I just want my allies to keep getting screwed over. As long as things keep ending in stalemates, it buys me more time to grab land and become more powerful than any of my allies. So that's, that's what I'm angling for. So, uh, more income from commerce, etc. I'm getting a lot of money from here. Awful lot, which is lovely. So, mostly from industry. So, no commerce really, but that will give me some bonus to industry at least. But yeah, I have no money from commerce here. So, it makes me wonder if I should change this to something else. At some point. Um, but god, I'm getting a lot of money from industry. I'm getting a thousand base. How am I getting a thousand? Is it because of this as well? Must be. Does it add up? It must do. Okay, so that's answered that question now that I finally bothered to have a good look at it. Um, yeah, it seems that it's the commandery. So the bonuses 
for any items that will help the commander. So the fact we've got so much industry here, um, it will actually aid the rest of the, uh, you know, the rest of this, I believe. So 1,000. So I have 300, 400, and 300. So yep. Yep, makes sense. Makes sense. That'll lower corruption, which is actually super important. Oh, how much my corruption at? 5%. All right, I won't get it yet. But I'll probably have to convert that, sadly. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to convert this. I still have income from industry, though. Just a bit less. So it's 200. And yeah, it'll go to 200 rather than 300. So I'll probably need to convert it. Because uh, that 10% will actually equate to quite a bit. Because corruption will keep going up. Spy returning. Still couldn't get in, huh? That's annoying. Alright, Sima Yi. Um, it appears that Sima Yi, a... Is it Yi? Sima, anyway, uh, a famed recluse has forsaken his isolation to offer his talents as a warlord. A warlord obviously possessed of, uh, in possession of admiral powers of persuasion. Interesting. Huh. So does that mean I might be able to uh, recruit him? What are you doing? Cancelled. Oh, alright. Because that got destroyed. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so, we need to keep moving here. Kong Rong needs to leave. He needs to leave immediately. The jerk. And I guess you need to head for... Um, Xiao Fang. Xiao Fang. Right, let's, let's just run. Let's just book it. I don't care that replenishment is necessary. I'm just going to keep running. I'm going to keep running. So yeah, I do have more livestock now. So I'm getting more food from there, which is good. Um, let's see. Oh, I do have some more farmland here, actually. That's fully... Upgraded as well. Yeah, so I do need that reform pretty quickly. And do I need reforms here as well? Which is the good food one? That's the good food one. Let's have a look. What reform is this? Is it on the same tree? Oh, it's there too. Yeah, that'll unlock all of them. So yeah, really need that for all my... All of my lunch needs. Right, um... You, that's just the city. I can wait that out a bit. Um... Does look like he's on the move though. Does look like he's coming. Okay, we'll have to see where he goes. He might just take the copper mine, which would suck, but then I can attack him in kind. So uh, I can catch him out, because once he's, you know, in a settlement, I'll be able to wipe out the entire army if I take the settlement back. So I might lose a settlement, but I'll gain it back pretty quickly. And would have destroyed this army, which means I can head over to uh, Liu Yang. So uh, be nice to grab the old capital, I think. Be nice to grab the old capital. Then I can just hold out there against anything, hopefully. Uh, Liu Bei's still got a big army there, though. Ran Shao's making... and Kong Rong. They're making... nope, they're both your Ran Shao's armies. They're making some progress. They're making some progress. Okay, next turn. Liu Bei on the move. Is he going to fall into my trap? No, not so much. Oh, alright. Alright then. Come on, Tao Tao. Push them back. We have an offer. Uh, wow, no one, no one's keen on that. Sorry, mate. We were too generous. <laughs> Far too generous. Uh, right. Tao Yin's moving. Oh, I was at war with him, huh? Huh. Wow, this is just annoying. Look at this. All right. I mean, it says that it's in my favor, yet it'll be a crushing defeat, which seems unusual. Um, I guess it's just because these guys don't count for much in terms of the balance of power, but obviously they will help win. So, that's very annoying. Um, I guess because they're always rebels, right? But it didn't have a didn't have a little crossed swords thing when I moused over them. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight this battle. It's gonna be super close. I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to fight it. I don't think I have much choice. Yeah, hopefully I can just wipe out the army and these two guys won't do too much. Um, I mean, they're both heroes. Whatever that is. They're both veterans. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to fight this. I think I'm going to lose. That's so annoying. I bet Yuran Shao's just going to take this over. Now that I've left the area. God damn it. I should have just attacked him. I didn't realise that he'd attack me. Alright, so... Uh, oh, can't move over that. All right. Oh, so annoying. But 
very pretty. It's a horsey. Oh, little pigs. Hello, little pigs. Oh, horses and cows. Oh, I do love those like wildlife in the games now. Also, there are villagers that walk about. Uh, I don't see any in here though. Yeah, I don't see any. But there are in the old place. You occasionally see the odd farmer walking about. Uh, same in sieges as well. You see the odd like person knocking around. And they will actually attack your units. It never goes very well for them. But there's just the odd sort of peasant or whatever running around. Which I think is real, real cool. It's quite amazing. Makes it just feel more lived in, you know. So let's push right up. Um, because we might as well, to be honest. You know, there's nothing really to gain from not pushing up. Because, yeah, they're still going to be fresh. It's fine. You know what? I'll slow them down, even. I'll even slow them down. So it looks like most of these spears have good missile resist. Because, yeah. Uh, actually, the Pez... Okay, they have no missile resist. Okay. They just they have the same icons as the spear guards, so I've assumed. Okay. You guys need to start shooting at the archers. Go for the biggest unit. And everyone else. You guys need to push up too. Yeah, let's pull these guys back. Alright, getting some good damage in there. Let's try and shoot into this clump. So let's push these guys around the side. No, guys, no. No. Alright, you shoot them. And you shoot the size of them. And yeah, they're shooting through trees into me here, which is great. Um, okay, so let's shoot in there too. Yeah, hopefully I can get some really good damage from the sides here. Let's shoot to the sides. And hopefully my infantry can keep in the fight. Looks like he's coming for my archers now, though, which is a pain. These guys seem to be holding. They're still taking most of the flak. But yeah, as you see, shooting through trees. I don't think that's ideal for them. So hopefully these guys will break. I can push these guys forwards and then to the sides. So yeah, it looks like they're starting to go. It's starting to buckle. It's starting to buckle. So yeah, I'll have these guys shoot into there next. Okay, come on, boys. Come on. Got to kill for some cab. Okay, good. They're starting to run. Okay, you start shooting to that. You guys start shooting to that. You guys doing well over there, too. That's good news. Okay, he's very injured. That's nice to see. I actually have these guys start shooting at them. So, yep, getting some great damage in there. Lovely stuff. Okay, you start shooting to there. Actually, you guys, pull back into here, please. I'll just let them hold for now. Okay, they've taken some damage, but they're out of ammunition, so I'm going to ignore them for now. You guys shoot into the side of the spear bands, too. And yep, they're doing well. Start getting into there. They're starting to buckle. Great news. So let's shoot into the next bunch. So yeah, it looks like they're going to buckle any minute. He's still in here, but yeah, he's killing a lot of us, but it's kind of fine. I don't really mind. Okay, now I don't have any ammo left with a lot of these. Okay, you start pushing forward, and let's get these, uh, these are spear warriors, so they should do very well against these guys. Okay, shoot to that. You get on them. You start getting a nice surround here, please. Good. Uh, you shoot to the back of these peasant warriors, just because it's free damage. Hopefully it'll break them. Okay. Start running up there. Brilliant. These guys did not appreciate. Potentially getting flanked. Okay, looks like we might have it. Okay, you keep chasing them off. Okay, you start charging them down. You guys keep going for them. You get some lovely damage in. It's appreciated. Lovely stuff. Oh, nope, they're, they're on the way back. 
they're fleeing, so let's just charge into the side of them. Let's actually get these spear... Oh, no. Nope, they shattered. Good. He's getting very hurt. These guys are back. So you shoot them. You shoot them. Oh, he's getting some great damage into them. Some of those archers are running away. Fair enough. I'm going to pull these guys aside. Oh, nope, they're running already. Oh, I'm out of ammo there. That's a shame. Okay, you start heading that way. It's going well. It's going well. Alright, these guys not enjoying getting shot, huh? No, not so much. Not so much. Oh my god, look at that. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So yeah, not hitting them much. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, he did. Yeah, you keep chasing. These guys are coming back. You start shooting them. Uh, looks like General's suffering. I think I killed the other one. Not certain, but I think I did. Okay, you move back. Start fighting him. Still shooting into him, which is good. Still chasing them. He is fleeing. Good news. That's a victory. That's a victory. Garrison held him off. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Alright, let's claim that. Happy with that. Very happy with that. Good job. Good job. Yeah, boys. More infamy. And oh, oh, this guy, huh? Uh, could release him for the money. I captured both of them. I guess I'll just execute them both, huh? I'd rather die than betray my cause. Well, if you say so. You may kill me, but not my ideals. I'm, I'm not that fussed about your ideals. Your ideals aren't attacking my village, so... Bye, lads. Um, and replenishment. I'm not sure if it affects garrisons, but I would like to get them back up again soon. So... Come on, is he? Yep. Yep. Bye, Rebellion. Bye now. Uh, Alright, fine. Oh, wow. New Bay declared war on Yuan Shoot as well. That's interesting. Yeah, it's just a... Just, everyone's at war with everyone right now. Character leaves. Damn it. I had just checked. All this. Where was he? He was actually in an army, wasn't he? Or was he? He wasn't in here. No. No, that was someone else. And who the hell was he? God. Oh, wow, he's livid. Yeah, he's not happy at all. Is he here? That's him there. Need to do something about him. He's very upset. So, desires high court position. Don't we all, mate? Don't we all? Oh, can I just, can I just give you that? I'll just buy you. Um, I mean, none of this is going to help. So... Not sure what to do about that. Um, him, he needs to go before this other army turns up. Because it looks like he crossed the river, like, here. So, yeah, he didn't use the crossing. Which is kind of annoying. I mean, why would you... Why, why wouldn't you use the crossing? Probably to avoid ambush. So, actually, where I was, lay, like, lying in ambush before would have been better. That would have actually been better for me. Ah, oh, the irony. Um, so he's got a couple of trebuchets. I'm not really sure how these guys perform in um, in a battle. I'm not really sure how good they are at killing infantry. Um, yeah, not sure. I mean, they're more for destroying walls and things. But can't wait to see them. Can't wait to see what they're like. So, uh, yeah, got some archers, got some cav. Got some decent spears. I mean, so does he. Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to have to give it a go, aren't I? I need to get rid of this guy. So I need to get rid of him. So, evenly matched. Going to be a close victory, apparently. But as long as I can get back to the city, um, that other army has to cross the river. It will take a couple turns, so I will have some time to replenish. So, um, yeah, I guess we're going to do it. I guess we're going to fight this one now. Oh, bloody Liu Bei. Get out of my house. Okay. Here we are. And there's his tribuchets. Oh my god, this game is gorgeous. Just look at this! It's just sick. Makes me sick. Um, yeah, I've been spending a lot of time playing this game again recently. Uh, just in my, my own time, just doing other campaigns as well as, you know, doing this one. Because obviously I can't just do like 10 episodes a day. No one has that 
you know, no one has the time for that. And frankly, I don't have the bandwidth to upload that much. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I've just been, you know, quickly doing battles. I haven't spent a lot of time zooming in, and that's something I really want to start doing more. Um, especially when I'm fighting with you guys, but I'm always issuing orders. It can be a bit tough. But yeah, and you know I never pause it, so I'm sure you notice that much. So everybody push forward. And yeah, got my infantry of Jean. So yeah, these guys seem good. And they can go into turtle formation. Ooh. Ooh. That's fun. Yeah. That's very cool. Excellent charge resistance and other things. How about you guys? You can go to loose formation. Oh, Jesus. That's scary. Yeah, yeah, kill a few, huh? Alright, alright. See how it is. So yeah, kind of cool I got turtle formation now. It looks amazing, by the way. They look amazing, those formations. Uh, I just try to find an excuse to use them right now. So, what I might do, when are you guys in range? Soon. Alright, go for the repeating crossbowmen. They have the shortest range. And all new lot. Go into turtle formation. And you guys just stay put for now. Stay put. You guys try and get in the way of the archers. Should have had them in the middle before. There's actually no cav over here, so I don't really need to charge resistance on that side, so I don't have to worry about it. So you start running around. You guys pull back. You guys pull forward. But yeah, look at this. All the standard bearers jump into the middle so it can properly like cover everything. And let's actually have a look at the other guys as well. Cause... Oh, nope. Very hard to tell. No worries. So yeah, getting some great damage into that lot. Next lot, please. So, plenty of spear guards and things. Okay, you get to the back. Oh, they're running straight in. Thanks, lads. Thanks. Should have probably been static while that was happening, but... What can you do? Okay, let's get them stuck. Okay, let's get him over there. Okay, you guys. Start pushing up. So this is going rather nicely for me. And now, let's hit them all with some debuffs. Uh, no. Don't want to do any jewels today. Sorry. Uh, okay, you guys need to stop shoot, stop running forwards. And start shooting things instead. Okay, where are the rest? Where are the rest? Okay, guys. Let's just put them all on guard mode. Don't know what I'm doing today. They're very stupid. Uh, oh, spears are getting away. Let's get out of there. Okay. This all seems to be going rather well. Let's get him out of there. Let's get him in the rear of this unit. Okay, guys. 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 Ugh. Okay, start shooting him. You guys go for those Sabre Militia, because they will actually do quite well here. Okay. So, can't use my abilities until I kill him. Which is very frustrating. So things are going well over here. So let's push up. <laughs> He's still running around like a lunatic. All right. Let's pull them out. You guys start shooting the back of those saber militia. You guys start shooting the repeater crossbowmen. I say that. Don't really need to, do I? So let's have everybody shoot into the back of the... Actually, shoot those spear guards, the size of them. Perfect. Oof, Trebuchet's still firing. So these guys, nice and surrounded. 
I'm getting a little bit surrounded here too. More units are pushing up. In in turtle formation, apparently. Yeah, this is all going nicely. Dealing with them rather well. So let's push in there. These guys really struggling. So again, great news there. So a nice charge into them. Should break them nice and quickly. You guys start pushing up. Go for him some more. Good stuff. You are super spread out. Guys, you are super spread out. There we go. That's more like it. Okay. Get these boys in there. Start going for him. You guys all start shooting into that clump. It's not ideal. Oh. More men coming in this way. It's a bit annoying. Oh, good. Good. They're coming for me. That's fine. They're being a pain. Chase them down. You keep chasing them. Uh, you have that ability again. Perfect. Okay, you move down there. Lower their melee evasion across the board. Good stuff. Charge him. Charge him. My uh, bowmen there are getting a little bit bullied. But it's okay. Okay, you can pull back. You guys start getting to these spears. No! No, get away! Get away! Alright, got the odd person running away. Okay, should be able to fight from over there. Here you go for them now. Okay, yeah. Leadership is starting to crumble. That's good news. Okay, just everyone... Jump on them. Okay, he's running away. He's running away. So let's chase them down. Ah, that's everybody. Excellent. Good news. Right, you get in there. Need to kill as many of these spear guards as I can. Uh, it's all a trebuchet. That's fine. G militia barely have anyone there. Uh, they still have. They still have a few. Let's go for them then. <laughs> Chasing off the generals. Go for those spear guards. Right, so where am I the cav? Got one unit up there, one unit. Yeah, they're over in here. Cool. Alright, let's speed things up. And uh, watch the Benny Hill extravaganza. Excellent. So, 50 there. 70. So, yeah. Good stuff. Let's have a look at our boys. Yeah, you did good, guys. You did good. You did good. Oh, battlefields just look amazing. I mean, look at this. The trebuchets look amazing. Why don't you get destroyed? Not sure what did that. Not sure what did that. Very cool. Let's do it. Ah. Oh, that was fun. Do you like a good battle in the morning? Yeah, cavalry did alright. Our archers actually did very well for themselves. A lot of kills from the uh, crossbowmen. That's the thing, if you can get sort of shots into the sides, they're just not going to get the benefit of their shields. Uh, which is awesome. That's, that's exactly what you need. If you can shoot into the sides of units, so, you know, always shoot sort of across um, the lines. Okay. This guy is actually, yeah, not opposed to being in my faction. Um, huh. Might release him for the money, but I mean, I'm full of money. Just killing him for no reason seems a bit mean. It just seems like I'm going to wind up uh, Liu Bei. So I'm going to release him for the money. Free the prisoners. I mean, we're a bandit. We do this for the money, right? So, replenishment, because I need these guys fighting fit again for the next army that's coming. Uh, could finish him off? Oh, that will actually... He'll back them up there. What's his army look like? You know, worse. Worse. It's more just G militia and things. Um, I did get a little bit injured, but actually my guys are still pretty strong. So I might... I might try and finish this army off. And the reinforcements will come in and I could take them out. Ooh, do I risk it? Do I risk it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack, and I'll see if I could do a night battle, just wipe him out. That would actually be great if I did a night battle. That'll just, yeah, it'll just be them. Hasn't sorted this out though, but yeah, I could do a night battle. Oh wow, I noticed that. Look at this. Look, it actually extends the graphic to have reinforcing armies. How had I never noticed that? That's a wonderful little addition, isn't it? That's really cool. I had not noticed that before. 
Okay, so uh, we'll do the night battle. Just so we can wipe out his army. And the other one will have to run around to get to us. Um, so yeah, let's just get him while we can. Uh, probably don't need to fight this one, but... Oh, I want to see a night battle. I can set flaming arrows on everyone. Oh, it would look so cool. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that just for the sheer spectacle? Because I kind of do. I kind of do. You know what? We're going to do it for the spectacle. We're going to do it for the spectacle, guys. Yeah. We're not going to hang around too much. You know, I'll uh, I'll just set everyone to attack and then we can fast forward it. You know, once we've enjoyed the fireworks a bit. But uh, I like to appreciate this stuff. And here we are. Right. So, you guys, move up. Uh, all my G infantry, actually. I don't want them just getting shot and killed for no reason. So what I'm going to do is put all these guys out in front. I'm going to put them in Mega Turtle mode. Yep, like that. That's a nice solid line right there. Lovely. And all my archers are going to be behind them. And they will be... Uh, oh no. Oh. Oh, it's got a crossbow in that, I think. Nope. Nope. Is it just his ret... It's just his retinue. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought it'd be the whole army. I need to move these guys. I need to I need to get more spears here. Uh, probably more spear guards here. And then put these archers. Get some more archers in here. Because I want the flaming shots. It's so disappointing. I didn't realise it was just his retinue. I thought he'd give it to the army. Um, so that's a pity. That's a real pity. Like a serious pity. Uh, although, one thing I'm a bit worried about is that single trebuchet that he's got. If that single trebuchet lands a hit, like, here, that's gonna hurt. But yeah, look at this. Aren't the formations awesome? I think they're really cool. Uh, they're all slightly different. They're all slightly different. Because look at that. Every direction covered. So you don't have to worry about getting charged from any direction. But what's also pretty cool... Let's move these guys back. Uh, no, no, no. No, not you. Yeah. I meant you. Uh, what I like is the spear wall formation. There's just a wall of spears out in front. All the standard bearers go to the back. So, like, the, the mixture of the flags with the lanterns in a night battle and how they organize, it's all different, depending on the formation. And, yeah, they all look really slick. It looks really professional. It looks like they've drilled. It's, uh, it's super interesting. So, nice and easy. And away you go. Awesome. So let's speed things up a bit. Let them get in range. Yeah, I'm gutted I don't have more fire arrows. And also what's kind of sad is you don't have fire bolts. So if you want to go with crossbowmen over archers, um, you won't get the benefit of flaming arrows. They do have more armor piercing though, so they are better against better units, you know. So there are pros and cons, but still. Oh. Yeah, he's firing away. He's firing away. I'm not sure he's killed anyone yet. Who? Who's shoot? Who shot you? Rude. Oh well. Um, so yeah, almost in range with the archers. Almost in range. Whenever you're ready. Ooh. 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 Look at that. Yeah, your shields aren't going to save you from a trebuchet, are they? Scary. Scary stuff. Our is under attack. So, you ready to start shooting things willy nilly yet? You ready? And here come the flaming arrows. Oh, don't you just love it? The lanterns as well. Oh, they look so good. Oh, the trebuchet shot coming in. Where's it gonna land? Oh, it went over here, did it? The enemy unit but God, just look at this. Wouldn't you be terrified to see this? Just this solid wall of spears and shields. And then just this hail of arrows coming behind. I know I wouldn't much appreciate it. I would not. Right, uh, you guys, you need to go in guard mode. And I'll tell you to attack again, because a load of the guys are... Um... Okay, you guys stop. And you guys stop. So I want that charge resistance. Uh, yeah, you guys did not enjoy that. Oh, wow, look at that. They actually split apart. So my general could run in. Oh, that's so cool. 
Yeah, guys, come on now. Although saying that, can, can I even kill my own guys? I mean, they have a 100% block chance. So firing arrows into this group, totally fine. Oh god, look at the fire as well. Ah, oh, so cool. Yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the trebuchet crew. I guess they ran out of ammunition. He's trying to get into this formation. And you know what? He's doing okay. He's doing his best. You missed, mate. You missed with that. Oh, God, look at this. Well, they penetrated a bit. It just means there's a whole circle of people. Ow. Do you mind? What a jerk. All right, let's go get him. Let's go get him, boys. <laughs> All right, you there. Let's give him no armor or melee evasion. Good stuff. Don't like his chances. Beautiful. All right, let's just speed things up. The enemy unit flees. What coward. Of course he does. Wouldn't you? Oh, so good. Do love night battles in this. They look great. Also, fire arrows. It's a shame we didn't have more, you know? Shame we didn't have more. Order has been restored. Okay, right. Infamy. Uh, replenishment. We gotta prepare for the other army, potentially. Nothing will stop us. Potentially. Oh, hello. Oh, enemy morale, experience. Recruit somebody. So, captured scholar. One of your assets seized from the enemy appears to be a scholar. They can read, write, and have the um, unenviable ability to relentlessly assault your guard's ears with long, tedious odes to leaves. <laughs> okay, then. They are brought shortly before meeting with an unfortunate accident, no doubt. Uh, okay. Okay. Release them for the experience. Make them right. Um. Yep. Could do. I could recruit them. If I recruit them, I'll get another uh, person with my retinue. But that will be another hundred. I want to see what they do, so I might recruit them. I'm going to recruit them. There we go. I looked around at your bandits and decided intellectual insight was sorely lacking and so hired the scholar then and there. So, who'd I get? Scholar? Well, I don't see him. Is it Diviner? Is that him? I don't know. I do not know. Hmm. Hmm. Do need to use these on somebody, don't I? Let's just do that. That's when commanding. So, and yeah, that's thing is he gets that too. He gets things when commanding. Uh, that will unlock some rather interesting formations. Let's give him some rather interesting formations. Circle and hollow square. Sounds like fun. Hmm. Alright, let's do that. You can get, uh... I mean, none of this really, will really help. To be honest. Uh, I mean, that's cunning, though. Gives him more cunning. So let's get him... Yep, there we go. 40% ammo. That's gonna be nice. Excellent. Thing is, I don't think we can... Uh, I, just realized, I don't think we can actually swap retinues about. Uh, between each other. So I can't really move these G into here and these arches into here. Which I find kind of annoying. I wish you could do that. Um... I mean, maybe you can? Who is at the gates? Maybe you can? I think if I move outside, I could do that. Which is sort of frustrating. But within the same army, I'm not sure you can. Once again, I feel the warmth so, let's have a look. Swap unit with him. Nope. Nope. Doesn't do it. Hmm. It's a bit gutting. That is a bit gutting. I want more. I want this guy to just have nothing but archers. I don't want to waste this cavalry, you know. So it's kind of frustrating. So like these three could be swapped with these. Well, all right, these two could be swapped with them, and he can move over there and get more archers. But yeah, I can't do that. Can't do that, and I can't really afford to muck about if this guy's on his way. Well, I could do at the very least though is just recruit another spear girl here. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Or more cavalry. So that way I got more cavalry. Um, what are champions good at? I forget what it suggests you have the roll with. Uh, resolve gives... Yeah, it's population growth. 
Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Um, although he does have the cool formation, so screw it. Let's give him more spear guard. Uh, two, two raider cav is enough, I think. We're going to give this guy more archers. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. It won't take long. So if I have a look, it's going to take again, two turns to be fully replenished. That is not long. So we're going to go ahead and do it. So you guys, I'm afraid, I'm going to have to swap you. Maybe this is more cav, actually, because he's got more spears now. So let's go with some... Uh, yeah, mounted lancer militia. Maybe. Yeah, let's do that. And you. Swap you out for some more of those. And then you can get more archers. I'm going to get archer militia right now. Which is kind of sad. Would like to get some better archers. Okay. So, I have six units of spears. Five archer units, four cav. Yeah, I like that. And I've got a couple of G as well. So yeah, I could afford to swap him out for another another archer. Or maybe some crossbowmen. The repeater crossbows, uh, they have much shorter range, and I don't really like that much. Could get a trebuchet, though, to help me uh, attack some of these other cities. It would be cool to have a trebuchet in the army. Kind of would be cool. So I'm almost tempted just because trebuchets, you know. Why not? Makes them come to me. So let's do that. Let's do that for the sheer joy of it. So there we go. I like that army. That army is good. I am a fan. And ooh. Hello. Yep. More industry then. Suits me fine. Uh, you. That's just a city. And that I managed to save. I can't believe I managed to win that fight. I'm very happy with that. And it looks like I might be able to get here. <gasps> I can. I can't. No, I can. Good. Yeah, when it comes into view, it'll stop you, because sometimes there's an army there, and you might not have actually wanted to attack here. There's a big, you know, army there. So it always pauses when it reveals a garrison. Uh, no point fighting this. There's no point. Why would I bother? Leave the bodies as a warning. There we go. Leave the bodies as a warning. More infamy. Nice. Occupy. We worked hard, to take it. We we worked hard for the money. I answer your request. Okay, so, can upgrade this. Uh, so it goes prestige and reverse and reserve capacity, does it? Really? This gives us... Oh, I think there is a... Yeah, it produces mounts. That's it. So yeah, it, uh, you can see it from the text there. It, it basically creates retinues. Which is kind of cool. I actually really like that as a thing. Uh, well, not retinues, but you know... Horses, I imagine. So, you know, this thing. So, this stuff. I don't know what you'd call all this. Just equipment, maybe? Because, you know, that's the retinue. That's the item? I don't know. And then horse. Obviously horse. Oh, speaking of horse. Yeah, she's got a crap brown horse. Why haven't I given her this amazing black stallion yet? What's wrong with me? I've also got a nice white thoroughbred. Who should have the white thoroughbred? Let's have a look. Where's, um... Oh, she's right here. Could give her that. Uh, she has a white horse. Give her a better white horse. That might be nice. Hmm. Well, do I want to give it to someone who I know is going to get into a scrap? Uh, I like that. I like that. Alright. Uh, one thing I want to check as well is my assignments. Because... Oh, he's up for an assignment. Huh. Uh, yep, Swentran. He's still, still doing that. What can he do? Commerce, Silk and Spice. Enemy Spice, Stuff. Oh, none of these are useful. None of these are useful things. I mean, Commerce slightly. Let's see. Commerce. Oh, 500 here. Alright. In that case. You. Um, yeah, let's do that. Cool. Cool, cool. So I should have a bit more money from Commerce now. Uh, right, you are going to loiter. That is perfect. And it looks like I'll be able to take that in a turn or two. So, okay. So, Huran Shao only got the one. He only got the one. It is a salt mine, which is kind of annoying. I would like that. Um, for more industry, basically. I assume it just creates industry money. 
Um, which would be good, because if I had that, and then I had the city, I could do a load of bonuses to... Yeah, so really I need this stuff. Horse pastures would be nice too. So, hmm. It's weird though, we've got the animal tamer which does things, and the horse pastures... What do the horse pastures do? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe they both create horses. Not a clue. Oh well, whatever, I'll take that next turn, and... That'll be good. That'll be good, I think. Awesome. Right, so, we got a plan. Sort of for the next episode, which is take this, and then I have no idea. Start headed, heading south, I guess. I mean, a war with so many people around here. Look at all these red icons, all these people that want to fight me. Not sure where to go. It would be nice to take this, actually. Let's take the temple. Because uh, that temple is a special building. It just gives, um, I think it's satisfaction. Um, Faction-wide. People just love it when you own that temple. Um, and that would be good. It would help curb all this noise, you know? Because uh, this is very frustrating to me. All of it. So, it would be good. It would be really good to just take that over. It would keep people happier. And, I mean, that's a great idea, right? Should we try and do that? Try and get to New Bay's territory? Oh, wow. Okay, looks like your own shoe is doing okay. He wasn't there a second ago, was he? I think he might have just taken that. So that's good news. Huh. You know, Liu, Liu Yang would be good to get. And then I could go to war with Yurenshu as well, but that seems a bit much right now. But yeah, to get the rest of Liu, uh, Luo Yang. Hmm. Yeah, dunno. Dunno. But we're going to have to stop pushing out, I think. Because I'm not sure I want to fight Gongsun and Zan. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But it would be good to get rid of either Yuran Chao or Gongsun and Zan at some point. Just help secure this area a bit. Um, even just in case of making them my vassals, I think that could help me a lot. Because they do like me. So they're less likely to claim independence and screw me, I think. So it might be nice. Might be nice. Uh, these are my trade partners, though. I think they both are, aren't they? Oh, Gongsman San isn't. What agreements do I have with this guy? Oh yeah, I do have a trade agreement. And non-aggression pact. So, hmm. You wanna give me tribute? Nah. Let's have a look at quick deal quickly. Before I... Yeah, nobody. Nobody wants to give me tribute. How rude. And that's about all I can do. So, yeah. Okay, no one's into it. No one's into it. Let's just carry on taking more territory. Hopefully, I should have enough prestige very soon to get to Bandit Leader. And that will be... Very, very good. That'll be very good. I think... Actually, wait. No, this... Hmm... I can't remember. I think it's when we get to Bandit Queen we can start confederating. I think we have to be at Bandit Queen first. But either way, we'll be getting closer. We'll be allowed more armies, we'll have more assignments, more administrators, more trade agreements, and ooh, and it'll go from 40% tribute diplomacy to 50%. So we should get some good bonuses. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. it should be there soon. If it's not when we take that, it'll be when we re-declare war on someone down here. Maybe. Or if we start taking some of this territory. One or the other. One or the other. Anyway, guys, uh, I guess that'll be it. So if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.